Hey everyone, how are you? I hope everyone is doing great. I just wanted to do this video because we're going into Vata season. Late winter is when, uh, or late fall is when Vata season starts to accumulate in the body and that when we want to be very mindful of starting to rein it in at that time so that it doesn't accumulate, accumulate, accumulate and then come winter it's um, exaggerated and um, aggravated. Okay, so the goal is to not get it to that aggro level. So doing things to rein in and ground Vata, which is very light because it's air and space. It's very light and fluid and will go, 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 go. So if you think about it, what reigns in light and fluid is weight, right? Weight, an anchor. Something to anchor it, to bring it in, heavy, something heavy. That's where, why oils are so essential in the Vata diet and fats and using the, uh, doing your uh, massage oil, your massage abhyanga in the morning because your morning routine is to ground Vata, to really tap into the beautiful, creative, auspicious, mystic of vata in that morning and then do this grounding routine to carry you through the day as you leave that early part of the morning into the rest of your day so i wanted to talk to you guys today because we're launching our deluxe duet collection which is a beautiful hydrosol blend for vata and a abhyanga oil for doing self abhyanga um, doing in your morning routine and um, this oil is going to be absolutely gorgeous and um, I've been talking a lot about it and you can read about it on past blogs and st or past Instagram posts and emails and what I'll be talking about in my next moving forward in social media. But I want to take <clears throat> the time in this video to talk to you about how to properly do this treatment and I would really start doing it now. I know you don't have the duet, du uh, deluxe duet. I know, how many times can you say that? Is that a tongue twister? Deluxe duet, deluxe duet, deluxe duet. It could be a tongue twister actually. Um, but until we launched deluxe duet, we're still working on the design and the label and um, uh, for it, but before we launch it, I want you to start doing some of this self massage in the early morning to start making it kind of a habit now. So once we really go into Vata season, it's something that's already becoming part of your routine. So you can really start to rein it in at the right time. You're not like starting to do this then, which is fine too. You start when you start, but if you can get a hang of it now, once you get our beautiful deluxe duet, um, and you can really um, appreciate that product and use it in your routine. So a couple of things when you're doing your massage, and what you can do now. So what you can do now until you have this beautiful oil is go to your grocery store and get yourself some sesame oil. It's warming. Coconut oil is cooling, um, not great for your vata. So sesame oil is a nice warming oil that I would say to go and get from the cooking section of your grocery. Just please make sure it is a certified organic unrefined sesame oil because you want the nutrients oils lipids well lipids aren't oils oils are lipids but lipids aren't oils um oils like these plant oils mimic the lipids and the chemistry that is going on in our body and on the surface of our skin so when you use an oil even if you're cooking with it get the best oil possible so you are taking in and consuming these nutrients right so if you're going to use it on your skin same thing so get a certified organic sesame oil from your local grocery store not a toasted sesame oil okay just a sesame oil and then if you have a little bottle like this, this has a little atomizer on it, but if you have a little pump bottle or you have something with a pump or just a cap because you can pour it out, put some in this bottle and this will be your morning Abhyanga massage oil. If you want to add a little drop of lavender, something very soothing is nice for Vata and sweet. So like a lavender, a calendula, a marigold, a, um, what are some other nice sweet florals jasmine is nice because it's warming if you have a little jasmine essential oil um so um pour that in here and what you're gonna do in the morning so tip number one when you're doing your abhyanga is open palms we don't do this 
when we're doing Abhyanga and Ayurveda. We don't do deep pressure massage in Ayurveda. That is not something that goes down unless you're on the scalp. Then we use our fingertips on the scalp. And for some Marma therapies, you will use some finger point. But when you're doing massage, it is with open palms. It is not, again, gripping. It is as soft as you can be while getting the oil in your skin to absorb because that is the goal. The goal is to, yes, wake up the muscles, move out vata, you always go downward unlike dry brushing where you come upward toward your heart. With abhyanga, you're moving vata out. So you're, you're going downward on your limbs, on your body, on your neck, on your shoulders, just come downward. Belly, you can do counterclockwise. Under and around your chest, you can do sweeping motions because you have all that lymph here, right? So this is how when you are gonna, and I'll tell you what to do with your oil, but I just wanna make sure that you are not gripping your hands or going tight or going rough. And if you find that you are, just switch and pivot to what I'm telling you now because that is not the quality of massage that we're going for. Again, the goal is to uh, for your skin to absorb the oil because we're nourishing our tissues that way. That's how we're nourishing all of our seven datus. That will be another class, but that is how we are doing that one way that we do that, okay? Um, so, and we're grounding vata and getting that oil, the weight, right? It's heavy, vata's light. So these oils are grounding physically and also so the process of your routine slows you down. So that's grounding. The, um, the warmth of the sesame oil is grounding. So that is vata. Just think grounding, grounding, because she's like this. So that's how you use your hands. That's how you apply your hands. And then Noodle is over here being silly. And then your bottle of sesame oil, you're going to every morning put this in a bowl. This has some product in it, but you're gonna put this in a bowl of hot water, okay? And let it sit there and then go and heat up some water for tea, come back and you can start with this oil. Now, some people ask, well, is this oil gonna go bad because it's going in and out of this hot water for a few consecutive days? And that's really the key word, days, right? You have a routine. This isn't gonna sit around like it's going in hot water a few times and you're not using it for a week and then you're coming back and putting it in hot water a few more times and it's coming out and now it's months later and this has gone sour um, you're using this on the daily so I <laughs> silly wants to be in the video so that is okay okay and this is a four ounce bottle you can do a two ounce bottle if you feel better about it and fill that um, um, <laughs> she wants attention. Someone's like, why is my mommy talking to someone else? Um, so warm sesame oil for now until the deluxe duet launches. Do your warm Abhyanga massage, a nice warm oil, and don't have too much in your hand. Start with a little bit, and when you're finished, because in Ayurveda, you bathe and shower and steam after your oil. Okay, so the last thing you wanna do is not have this absorb and get in the shower now and you are gonna slip in the shower and have oil all over. So the goal is always remember to get this in your skin to nourish your tissues and then you know, common sense wise to not go and slip in your shower. So um, that's your Abhyanga for now until Deluxe Duet comes out and for you to start to have a little habit until you have the right oil, which is ours, because it's gonna be beautiful, and you guys are gonna love it, and um, that's that. So, and even if you don't wanna buy ours, like here's the information for you, and use your sesame oil. You know, we're all on a budget too, so I get it. Just make sure it's a certified organic sesame oil, it's not toasted sesame oil, and it's not coconut oil. So just stick with your sesame this season, and um, that should do it. Okay, you guys, ghee is really great, but if you don't want that smell on you, even though you're gonna get in the shower and you're gonna use very little of it and it's gonna absorb, like that would be great. You can mix a little bit of ghee with your sesame if you're feeling very vata, very dry, very restless, very insomnia, very anxious. If you're feeling very like that, in so many different ways, then you could. I would put a little uh, ghee or the triphala ghee that I have um, on the website with your sesame oil, and that would be a wonderful therapy. Okay, you guys, so that's what's going on. Lots of love, and let me know if you have any questions, and that's it. Okay.